uh, well, thank you very much for inviting me uh, on this debate that is very important for me, uh, for two reasons. And maybe there, there's a bias in what I say because of what I do. But uh, first of all, I, I'm a former cryptographer. So for me, crypto is something quite important. And I consider that it's a, a technology that is fully necessary to, to secure ourselves and to protect everything, including our privacy. So there's no doubt about this. And the other thing is that I'm now the head of uh, the French uh, National Authority for Cybersecurity. So I am on the security side. I work a lot with uh, many colleagues in France and also around Europe uh, who work on cybersecurity. There are intelligence services, police services, and people who try to secure everything. Um, and of course, we have this debate related to, to crypto, the use of crypto. And I often observe that uh, the debate is not good because uh, if we reduce the debate to uh, are we in favor of privacy or are we in favor of security, of course, we won't find any solution. And even in many situations, I consider that we need to choose between security and security. And again, it's not the good way to, to develop a debate. And well, probably other people in the panel experience this, but uh, I, over, I often faced people who are trying to reduce the debate to the fact that, of course, there are some bad people who use crypto to do awful things. Um, but if you, even if those people use crypto, if you protect crypto, you are not in favor of those people. Um, if uh, there are some people who do child abuse, awful things, using crypto systems uh, to protect their communication, and if you protect crypto, it doesn't mean that you are in favor of child abuse. I say silly things, but I think sometimes the, the debate is as silly as this. So we need to avoid this. And again, thank you very much for this debate, because we need to talk about real solutions. And uh, OK, what are the limits, what we can do, and what we can't? And at the end, we need to do choices just because the global security is the more, most important thing. And I put privacy into the security. Um, then when we, we look at the, the different uh, solutions we, we often hear about, um, of course, we know, and we have been knowing this for a long time, and of course, Bruce uh, will, will talk about this, but we know that simple solution like uh, weakening crypto or uh, using key escrow, you, you know, having some people, having some special keys to decrypt some communications. We know that those solutions are very complex to, to develop. Um, we can encrypt it doesn't work just because uh, it is impossible to have systems with a level of security um, low, low enough to be decrypted by uh, good people, let's say, uh, investigators, for example, and uh, not being able to be decrypted by, um, by criminals or bad guys. Uh, we know that, okay, this idea of good guys, bad guys is um, it's not technical. And sometimes the bad guys have uh, an incredible amount of uh, computing power and intelligence also. So uh, it's not a solution. And very quickly regarding key escrow, regarding this idea of having some decryption keys, I think that we cannot say it is impossible to do it. Uh, it's not a technical problem. It has been solved many years ago. But in practice, to be able to implement such schemes, uh, okay, who will get the keys to be able to decrypt in case of problem? It's a, it's a real problem. So I, I don't say that um, I have a solution. I don't have a solution for sure. Um, but we need to have a clear debate. Um, if we have some ideas to be able to try to, to let good guys use crypto but not the bad guys, well, for any idea to try to solve this problem, we need two things. The first one is that uh, it must be clearly analyzed from a cybersecurity point of view to be sure that the solutions will not become a flaw, very dangerous for many people. So for, for this, we need to discuss about not big ideas, but about technical details, technical implementation, organizations about those systems. My experience is that each time we did it, uh, the conclusion was that the, the solution was not good. So that's the first thing. The second thing is that it cannot be done uh, in the dark. Uh, we need uh, openness, transparency, and I'm convinced that as all modern cryptographers that um, only sharing the schemes, the ideas, there are just a few secrets in a, in a system. Everything must, can be public. Um, so whatever we do, we need to have this transparency in order to have independent experts, people from 
um, academic research, being able to uh, also to analyze what, what we're trying to do. And in many situations, um, well, openness is not the, the first priority. So we need to change the minds of the people who work on in those domains. And then finally, uh, whatever we do, we must have some limits. The, the main limits are that uh, being able to access to decrypted communication must be exceptional. Um, we have, must be very careful with the solution. Uh, it must not apply to massively to many communications. We know that it's bad. Uh, we must be very careful on the, the systemic effect. For example, if some tools are developed, um, usually it is software tools, so it can um, be disseminated very quickly. So again, um, this must be analyzed by real experts, uh, including independent experts, in order to be sure that the solution is not worse than the program. Thank you very much.